Finally, let's move on to disorders which are caused by phagocytic dysfunction. The leukocyte adhesion deficiency is caused by a defect in the LFA1 integrin, which is also known as CD18. As you'll review in pathology, and as we've discussed briefly before, integrins and other adhesion molecules like selectins are essential for the binding of neutrophils to the activated endothelium. These cell-to-cell -cell contacts allow many leukocytes to move from the circulation and into the tissues where the infection is occurring. When there is a defect in the LFA1 integrin, neutrophils are poorly recruited to sites of infections, which results in recurrent infection with bacteria. Notice that these infections are devoid of pus. Remember that pus itself is actually generated by neutrophils. As neutrophils attack pathogens and die themselves, they release a number of lytic proteins, which cause localized tissue damage. The whitish-green color of pus is actually due to proteins which are produced by phagocytes, especially neutrophils. Neonates with this disease tend to retain the umbilical stump following their delivery. This is because neutrophils are also responsible for digesting and clearing necrotic tissue. Typically the stump falls off, but in this case the neutrophils can never actually reach the necrotic tissue, and hence the umbilical stump tends to be retained. Finally, because neutrophils are poorly recruited from the circulation, they tend to increase in numbers there. So in this disease you would expect to find neutrophilia, which is higher than normal levels of neutrophils in the blood. Shijak Higashi syndrome is an autosomal recessive disease, which results in defective microtubule function and lysosomal emptying, which is associated with impairments in phagocytosis. Microtubules, as you know, are cytoskeletal elements which are important for intracellular transport. Presumably, when there is a defect here, phagocytes cannot transport important lysosomal contents to phagosomes where engulfed bacteria are found. This results in inefficient clearance of phagocytosed bacteria and clinically is characterized by recurrent pyogenic infections with staphylococci and streptococci. These patients also have partial albinism, and that's because the deposition of pigments like melanin require microtubules for their transport. These patients can also have peripheral neuropathy, and again, this has something to do with microtubule transport, which is critical in neurons. Finally, we come to chronic granulomatous disease. Chronic granulomatous disease occurs because of a defect in NADPH oxidase. In phagocytes, this enzyme is critical for generating reactive oxygen species such as superoxide. Because of this, catalase-positive organisms, which can neutralize or inactivate reactive oxygen species using their catalase enzyme, tend to thrive in these patients. In other words, these organisms can almost entirely eliminate one of the important weapons used by phagocytes which are these reactive oxygen species. So, in summary, the leukocyte adhesion deficiency is caused by an inability to recruit neutrophils into sites of infection. Shijiakigashi syndrome, on the other hand, is due to the inability of these phagocytes to transport lytic and lysosomal enzymes to the phagosomes which have engulfed bacteria and therefore cannot efficiently clear these bacteria. And finally, chronic granulomatous disease occurs when there is a loss of one of the potent weapons which is used by phagocytes, namely NADPH oxidase. And that, my friends, concludes this immunology lecture. Congratulations for sticking with it. That was quite a lot of material.